So here's the story. So I went to the gym one day and I'm sitting out and I'm sitting on the um, lap pole machine. I'm sitting there and I'm working out and I'm working out and I'm looking down at the floor and all of a sudden I look and I see this furry little white thing and it's moving very, very slowly. And I thought, what the heck is that? So I got down and it was moving. So I thought, I wonder what that is. So I better not pick it up. So I went and I grabbed a piece of paper at the, the desk at the gym and, and I went over and I scooped it up and I looked at it and I could realize that it was some kind of a little creature, but it, it had dust all over it. And the dust was from the gym. And so I thought, well, I got to find out what's under there. So I picked it up and I put it in my hand and I started picking the dust off like this. And all of a sudden I saw little feet going like this and I go, oh, and I'm going like this. And pretty soon it was a little round roly poly ball. And as soon as I got all of the dust off of him so he could function in this design and purpose, he rolled up into a little ball, protected. Okay, that day, the same day that I learned um, what it meant to walk in the image of the one you're following, and it was to walk in your design and purpose. So I'm looking at this bug, this roly poly, and he's in a gym. He's supposed to be outside, so he's not functioning in his design and, and, and function, is he? So I'm like, poor little bug, you're full of dust from the gym. You're not supposed to look like that. You're supposed to be outside doing what God called you to do. I'm going to go put you outside. So as I was walking to go outside, he rolled out of my hand by the drinking fountain. And so I'm going, stop, stop. Don't anybody come. And they're like, what's the matter? And I go, there's, I'm, I dropped my roly poly. <laughs> this guy's like standing there like, okay, lady, you know, move aside. I want, I go, no, no, really. It's, I'm trying to put him outside. And so suddenly this guy's helping me look for a roly poly. And we looked and looked and then somebody else came up and they're like, what are you guys doing? And we go, we're looking for a roly poly. And they're like, oh boy, you know, off they go. So as I'm leaving the gym, I was sad. I'm like, that poor roly poly, he's going to go right back and he's going to go around the gym and he's going to get all furry again and he's not going to be able to function in his design and he's going to end up being this white little fuzzy thing barely moving as i left the gym god said to me you're going to tell someone that story because it's going to apply to them and i thought that's weird so uh that was early in the morning at the gym so the afternoon I went to um, Stater Brothers and I was going to um, buy some groceries so I'm inside and I come out with a whole tray full of food, uh, food and I hear a guitar playing and I look down and there's a guy sitting down against the wall on the ground and he's playing his guitar and I thought oh he's quite good so I went to my car and not thinking about roly poly. So I opened the back of my trunk and I'm throwing the groceries in and all of a sudden the guy said, oh, the roly poly, that's the guy. So I grabbed some money and I grabbed a little gospel track of John. I stuck 10 bucks in and I walked over and I said, hi, oh, I heard you playing when I left the store. My name's Rebecca, what's yours? He said, my name is Eric. I said, that's the name of my son. Oh my gosh, and he plays the guitar too. He said, really? I said, yeah. And um, I said, Eric, can I tell you a story? He said, sure. And he's like plunking on his guitar. And I said, well, this morning, and okay, so I tell him the whole roly poly story. And he's slowly listening and kind of plunking along while I'm telling the story. And so at the end of the story, he looks at me kind of blank and he goes, so what's the point? <laughs> and I said to him, that roly-poly is you. I said, that roly-poly was not meant to function in that gym, in that condition. And you're sitting out here begging for money. That beautiful guitar and that beautiful voice of yours, God wants to use for something else. And you're just not functioning in the design and purpose that God had for your life. So I just wanted to tell you that story today. So it would encourage you that God sees you here. He loves you. And um, I want to leave you um, 
some money. He goes, no, you don't have to do that. I said, no, I want to. I said, first of all, I said, it's in a very special place in this little book. It's called John 3. I said, if you promise me you'll read John 3. He says, yeah, I'll read it. I said, okay. Well, have a nice day. Bye. And I went to my car. I went home and I told my husband the really funny story. He's like, you're crazy, woman. You're crazy. Okay. Fast forward several months later. And I come out of Stater Brothers and I look and there's Eric. He's playing his guitar down there. But he's not sitting on the ground. He's sitting on a bench. And I went up to him. And I go, hi, I'm Rebecca, you remember me? And he goes, you're the roly-poly lady. I go, yes. And he goes, oh my gosh, I can't tell you how many people I've told the roly-poly story to. And I'm like, really? And he said, yes. And he says, I have told that to so many people. And he says, I just want to tell you. He said, after you told me that story, I have a son and he lives with his mother, but I felt really convicted I hadn't been taking him to church. And I did read chapter three. He said, so I've been taking him to this Baptist church near my house and I'm going to try out for the worship uh, band and play guitar. And I'm like, oh my goodness, Lord, the roly poly story. Lord, thank you. Thank you that you give us eyes to see, to speak life into somebody else's life. Maybe you'll tell the roly-poly story, or maybe the roly-poly story applies to you. I don't know. Anyway, to be holy just means to let Jesus love you, to follow him, let him heal you, and to walk in his design, purpose, and plan for you. So that's it for Sparky's Tour Time. I hope you'll join me again next week for another beautiful deep dive into God's Word. God bless you. Have a great day.